Hey, what's up guys? No subscribers guy back again for another Minecraft vehicle tutorial. I've been meaning to do this one for quite some time now, good uh, good th two three weeks since I've planned to do this one. But you know, here we are. We're gonna do it today. We're gonna do it definitely 100% today. We're gonna be making ourselves a Huey helicopter. You know, one of the American ones, the Huey or whatever it's called. <laughs> Since this is a helicopter, we're going to make it in the air. So that's the first block placed. We are using stone for it. Stone because it gives it the nice grey camo -y look that, that you have on the helicopters. Right, so we're going to go along by eight. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight by three, basically. So we'll do it out by another one and another one on the other side. Okay. So that's eight by three. So it's eight that way, three across this way, which is pretty, pretty simple, pretty easy to do. Now, onto the sides here to mark some stuff out. You can place two upside down stairs, like so, facing outwards. Then another three to make it nine overall. Then another one. Then on the front of the one there, that, that. And that's so a three upside down stairs facing the front, facing that direction. And another one facing the front on the edges also. Which gets sort of turned to that sort of weird corner sideways block or whatever. Which will look alright in the end. Now for now, on top of these upside down stairs, place upside down slabs. Well, not upside down slabs, stairs, just normal stairs like that. And then along the sides, upside down stairs, all the way to the back. And all the way to the back. Right, then in there, place some stair, uh, place some, uh, place a block of stone. There, place some glass, and there, place some glass. I'm using black stained glass because it just looks the coolest. Like a sort of army-esque cool, uh, uh, blacked out chopper look, I guess. Let's just set the time to day before it goes to evening. And there we go. Right. Then, place some stairs. One stair, one block even. One just block of uh, stair. What did I say stair? One block of stone there. And an upside down stair there. Oh, there's normal stair. And a normal stair there. Right, then here, just go across two, and up another two, and then up to level, uh, actually no, leave that, just do that in there, so you got this archway going, on here, stir, and stir, so now for the front, now for the front, hmm, Block of glass, glass, and then glass pane, then glass pane, like so. And stair, then go around to the other side and place another stair like that. Then for the front, stair, uh, another glass block on there and a glass block on there. So you're going in this sort of arrow shape there. And then on top again, stairs, like so, and here as well. And then just fill this in with stone. Pretty easy, pretty simple. It's alright, it's not too complex. And what goes for here at the front, what we're going to do instead of that, is we are going to... Extend that out so in front of the slab here by well, in front of this upside down place another slab and Then a whole block and another slab So you got that so it's extended So it's like that so it's a slab half slab half slab full block Then on there half slab as well So it just makes that that front bit smoother and a bit less Pure Minecrafty. Now at the back here, just fill that in there like that. 
This is going to be where our, uh, our people sit in the back. Our soldiers or whatever they are. So we're going to be leaving a gap of four. And on the right at the back, which is the fifth, we'll place that there. And then some stairs. Like so. We can delete those two for now as well. After you've done that. Right. After doing that, we'll pause a sec so you can catch up. Alright, don't you pause the video if you really want to catch up. Now, it doesn't really look that much. It looks, a bit, it looks a bit funny at the moment, but it will look a lot better. Now, for now, I'm going to avoid the actually, yep, yeah, I'm going to map out here. So, there. So, what we'll do is first we'll, yeah, we'll fill out the roof. So let's fill out the roof. I use stone blocks for this part. So we've got this big flat roof. So from the top, from the exact front, so it's one, two, and on the third, and then either side of it, one back. So like that. So it's one, two, one, two, and on the third of each. And then leave a gap of two. So here there's a gap of one and two. And on the third again, place that, and then diagonally out to the front. So this one should have a gap of four. We gap of two and some stairs facing outwards like that. Now for now we'll do that, that, and that, because we're gonna want to go grab a hopper. Go get our hopper. Place one there. And place the other on this side. Just add a little bit more detail. Now we'll add more detail in later. And you can place in between the two hoppers an iron bar like that. For now, right, heading backwards, what we're going to do here in these two corners is one, two, yep, one, two, three, so that's four along, one up, and that's three up, like that. So we'll fill it out with blocks for now. So delete that. So that's three by four and a gap of two. We'll just add two windows, uh, two pane glass panes in there as well. So come over to this side. Delete that. One, two, three. Uh, two, three, and four. That's really simple and pretty easy to be honest. I think it's quite good. So it's the doors. You know when they fly with the doors open or whatever. That's the, that's the open doors on the side. And we'll go back, we'll add more detail into the doors later, but for now we're just sort of mapping out where they'll be. As for the back, what you can do is link that around like so. And begin to link that around. Adding a block there, putting two stairs there, and putting another stair there. Okay? Alright, I'm sorry about that, I'm back again. Some issues jumped up in the way of the recording there, so I've had to do a little bit of a jump cut real quick. So we're back though. So here we are with this. One, two, th alright, so what we're going to do here, underneath this stair we just place, we can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Go nine out. For now, we'll extend it further. We'll go to ten. Put ten there. Now underneath, one, two, three, four, for now. Here, just fill that in there. Fill that in there. Upside down stair, stair. Upside down stair, normal stair. So bring the back end of the chopper to a sort of a close, I guess. Now, underneath, some slabs. So one, two, three. I'm using stone brick, by the way, if you didn't realise. <laughs> Stone bricks, just because I think it works well with the uh, plain stone colour. Now with the backs here, place an upside down stair and a normal stair. And here, a normal stair. And again, upside down stair. You can do that on the other side as well. So upside down stair. Stair. I can think this gives the, the whole door frame a bit more of a... Less of a super blocky shape, a bit more of a... A nicer shape, I guess, as we can describe it. And at the back, upside down stair. On top as well. One, two, and three. 
and four, bring that out four. The tail sort of comes in like that. Could extend that tab further, so we'll add another block on the end. Then stair. One, two, three. One, two. One. And so you got that basic shape, so it's three, two, one, obviously. It's pretty simple. I'm going to add a little bit of detail like that. And that as well. And then some stairs going down the front like so. Just to give it a bit more of a, a bit more detail, I guess. And we'll add the tail rotor here in a sec. Okay, so that's the back end. We might want to make that a little bit less chunky. Place a stair there. I don't know, it's up to you really. I think that's looking alright so far. And it's looking pretty good. I think the back bottom bit here though. So it could be extended out another one. So at the bottom here, right at the back, extend that out another one. Replace that there. And that there with two stone. Two bits of stone. An upside down stair. An upside down stair. And two slabs. I guess we could do that. Indeed. And look at that now. That's, that's coming on quite nicely. That is definitely looking quite good. Here. I'm going to place a stair. A normal stair, so that's under this pillar, whatever you want to call it, pillar region, and here, and then one before it. So where this second pillar is, as you can see just back there, one before it, we'll place another stair on the normal way around. Alright, that is that for now. On the bottom, we're then going to place a slab of just a stone slab now, so just a plain old stone slab. And then another one underneath. No, actually, another one just diagonally to the left. Just diagonally outwards, and then bring that along out like so. If you want, it looks a little bit chunky, a little bit funny. So, you know, I'm probably going to remove it. Just because I don't think it looks right. I think it looks a bit stupid and cartoonish. I'm just going to have them like that. I guess for now, until I can find a viable resource. But you can do something like I was just doing with the skids. There, but I think it looks cooler and sleeker like that. Right, once that's done, we'll go to the top. Slab there. So that's our, at the top of our, our rotor blades. So. And then... Not on that level, but the one below, it's at the top level, place four, like so. Sorry about that again, more issues I've just had. Where were we? Okay, so we've added these four things. Now, I'm not very good with the organic helicopter -y shape, so we're just going to go up by two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine overall. You can add the sort of the whirling chopper effect with these. Weird organic shakes, the shapes, shakes, shapes. All right, nine, but um, I'm not going to because I'm not very good at them, so I'm definitely not going to even try. At the moment, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine in each direction. Two, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Simple and easy. Look at that. It's pretty nice. That's a, that's a very nice looking helicopter we've got going there. As for the tail blades, we've got this one here. I'm going to go up diagonally one, down diagonally one, up diagonally one, another one. Down diagonally another one like that. You could add more if you want. I'm not going to. So it's got other sort of effect I guess. You could add, you know, ones going off in this direction. I don't think that really looks right. So, you know, I'm just going to add that there. 
just like that. You can now extend it further. I'm not going to. I'm going to keep it that short. And that is it. That is entirely it. Except actually, for one thing, you could add a ladder to that there and that there. If you want, it's really up to you. I don't really mind. I don't really care. But I do kind of. And that's the build. That is the entire build. It's pretty nice. I think it looks quite like uh, the modern day Huey or whatever they call it. And you know, if you want to, if you want to build, you go ahead. Just rewind this if you haven't already started building. Pretty simple. You got the doors open, so you can like sit inside here. There's the uh, the guys in the back. We could decorate this interior here as the pilots. Now, I just want to explain the reason I've got them two bottom ones there is. Hold on, I forgot to mention this. Oh, almost fell. Almost fell. See, just in there, there's a little window just there. I'm pointing at it right now. And like, I think it looks quite cool. A nice little sort of extra effect. Nice on the eye. Doesn't give the square look. It gives a slightly more different look. It comes down in here. Just to add a bit more vibrancy. And that's a door, maybe, for the pilots. Just a bit more detail. I think that's it. I think that's definitely it. All I can say is. You know, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please, you know, please like, subscribe, mess, uh, even leave a comment saying what you'd like to see or me do in the future. And if you enjoyed, you know, thank you. I've been the No Scrubs guy, and thank you for watching.